saw that you and Leo kind of stopped at like a like a rest point. I think it was like mile one seventeen. And then she continued, and I didn't see that you continued. And I, I, so I was I couldn't sleep because I was watching you guys last night. I was up like all night, the whole night. My name is Amanda Naman, and we are here in Emporia, Kansas. We are staying in this lovely Emporia Lyon County Fairgrounds. We started driving Sunday night from California, headed due east towards Kansas. Gave us enough time to, yeah, ride along the way, get here at a leisurely pace by Tuesday afternoon when we arrived. Checked in with Ken, parked the van, and kind of set up shop for the week, and that gave us Let's be honest, it gave David more time to have peace of mind leading into this thing. Main Street is commercial, so that's where all the big buildings are. More registration, Gravel City Adventure, all of the hubbub. The, the whole expo was set up and was really cool. I mean, there were a ton of companies. So for the 350, no support crews, no backup plans, no wheel sets waiting around for you. There's nothing. You're just on your own. You have to have enough to get through it. Um, so you're making decisions like two tubes or three tubes or how many patches do I need? How many tire boots should I bring? Because you really have to mitigate almost every scenario. And so in your head, you're prioritizing what could happen, how many of those things could happen and what do you need to bring to, to do that. My frame has pretty good clearance for wide tires, so a couple of days before we made the decision to ride the Renee Hurst Oracle Ridge tires, which is a 48C, which gives me just barely enough clearance to the chain stays on the back. And I, you know, after pre-riding and seeing enough of the segments, I knew that the mud, if there was any, wasn't going to be impactful because there was a lot of time for it to dry out. I'm so nervous. I'm Wait, officially. This is like the person that said I'm not even nervous. Well, now I am. I'm officially at the point oh where I woke God. up and I'm like, great, we're doing this thing today. I think it doesn't didn't really hit me until this morning. And it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm supposed to keep sleeping until like 10. I wanted to sleep until now. But then I woke up at 6.30 and just like, okay, what if this happens? What if this happens? What if this happens? What if this happens? I don't know. Do I have enough? I don't know. Do I have enough clothes? Do I have enough water? Am I going to be too thirsty? Holy shit, it's hot right now. Wow. That's what happens. <laughs> you will. You're safe. Thanks. I'm nervous. Uh, no reason to be nervous. It's not like it's, uh, everybody takes off rushing to go. You know? It's just kind of steady and go. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I'm afraid of is me getting too overeager in the beginning. <laughs> And as I'm rolling over there, my front rotor starts rubbing. We got there in 10 minutes, so I had about a half an hour to kill, and I quickly killed most of that trying to figure out that front rotor. Oh, you're doing the XL this year. <laughs> yes, sir. Five minutes, all right. I feel like it's so I'm weight. And yeah, so police escort down to the highway, and then Everybody's yelling, we're going left, and we get onto the gravel, and we start rolling. And a couple of turns in, just one girl just completely wipes out. And thank God I was far enough back at that time. That was before the speed picked up a little bit more. Yeah, my plan was to try and stay away from Lale, or get into a group ahead of her for as long as I could, or with her. I rolled in with the money knowing that I needed to get out quick and there were already four or five people in line by the time that I got there, which is exactly what I figured. I stood in line for what was probably only 10 seconds but felt like 10 minutes and was over it. 
So I grabbed the stuff and I was like, well, I'm just gonna tell this lady I'm got, I've got two things, I'm putting a 20 on the counter and walking out of here. And extra effort that I just did to be there was about to be thrown out the window. And sure enough, as soon as I walked out, she rolled up. And I know that she knows how to get in and out of there quickly too, so. Yeah, it kind of sucked because I left there by myself and was by myself for a while until she rolled up with a group of like four or five guys. So that amount of time that I was riding by myself was easy for them to catch up to me because they're working together. Right when it got dark was when she, I kind of just like had stuff to do, like get my lights on and do all this stuff and all these like noob things that I'm trying to figure out on the fly while trying to keep moving forward. Um, but yeah, I think I knew she was strong, like riding with her for three hours was awesome and seeing how she rides and how hard she goes in the beginning and thinking like, is she going to be able to sustain this? Can I sustain this? I don't know. We'll just see how this goes, and I was stoked to stay with her for, for as long as I did. There was probably an hour before I got to that gas station, I realized I really needed water. I was doing okay on like the sodium and the, the drink mixes that I had, but because my sweat rate is so high at certain temperatures and at certain efforts, I was just thirsty because I didn't have enough liquids. I was losing too much too fast. So I got in, chugged a bottle, I'm pretty sure as soon as I got there while I was walking around. I bought some other bottles to refill stuff and then I walked in there knowing I needed to buy like 800 to 1,000 calories. Yeah, I don't know, everybody talks about this event like it's, oh, it's just, it's just a mental game. And like, yeah, it is, it is just a mental game and a lot of it was out there, but you also just have to like pedal your bike for a really long time and keep moving forward and that idea of always moving forward no matter what crops up is is the trick i think and yeah i don't know it's more than just a mental game <laughs> just going directly into the wind and I was by myself and it's just like I just know I'm not going as fast as everybody else because I'm solo so yeah a lot of a lot of moments on that section like looking off into any piece of shade I could find and like could I lay down there no Bobby told me there's snakes could I lay down there no, there's probably mosquitoes. Could I lay down there? So like I'd have these conversations with myself of like, I should probably lay down. But then the other part of me was like, but what if you get bit by something and then it's even worse. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I just ultimately decided not to. But there was probably an hour in there where I started having that like dream fade, like when you start dozing off. And I, you, you catch yourself doing it when you're falling asleep in bed. You have the like weird dream thing that happens where like, it's a thought that turns into like a weird dream and that was happening on the bike and for probably an hour I was fighting it. I had been to that Casey's at the last gas station so I had, I knew what to look forward to there and it was a good thing I did that because I was just dreaming of this Slurpee for like eight hours. I roll up and these people, these there were two people on horses. One of them was standing right outside of the door and the other one was inside. And they were all like laughing like, oh look, we just put this horse in here. And I'm like, what is going on? And then they got out of the way and I walked in and went straight for the Slurpee slushy machine, whatever they're called here at Casey's.
If it's super fun knowing I'm about to see people again, and yeah, so the last 45-ish miles were a lot more pleasant than I thought because I had other things to think about other than wallowing in my own misery. And my my audiobook, my headphones were dead, so I couldn't listen to that anymore. Yeah, five finished. I mean, that's that's pretty crazy. I couldn't even count. I was up there. I was like, oh, there's six of us. And they're like, no, there's five. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was cool to see that. I mean, you know, I, I know what I went through out there, and it's pretty badass that there were four other women that did it too, and Lael is a machine, uh, so I, I feel pretty good about that. I think I was... 15, 16, I don't I have no idea what it was overall. Um.